Welcome to the Bible Balance HealthCast, episode number 486, The Dark Side of Status. Bio Balance Health features conversations about anti-aging medicine. Your hosts are Dr. Kathy Moffin, Medical Director of Bio Balance Health and a leading expert in treating symptoms of aging, and Brett Newcomb, a licensed professional counselor. Dr. Moffin and Brett are the authors of The Secret Female Hormone, the seminal work about testosterone replacement therapy for women, and Got Testosterone, the newly released book for men that helps men choose the most effective and safe form of T replacement. These books are available on Amazon or from Dr. Moffin's office at BioBalance Health in St. Louis and in Kansas City. Dr. Moffin's office is currently accepting new patients. So we've done conversations about statins before and you are frustrated by the reliance on statins by the medical community. Mm -hmm. And doctors have been taught that if you use statins, it defeats cholesterol. And if you defeat cholesterol, then you're less likely to have a heart attack. Your information suggests that that's a misunderstanding of what mm-hmm. statins can do and what cholesterol does. And what statins were meant to do when yeah. they came on the market. So, the indication is to use them on people who have had a heart attack or, or you know they have they have calcium deposits and atherosclerosis. People who you know have the disease, then and it makes sense to use a drug. statin because they don't talk about the risks. I used to hear guys in the doctor's lounge go, oh yeah, statin should be in the water. I'm thinking, whoa, this is, <laughs> this is a dangerous thought. But mm. that's, that's what the drug companies have convinced doctors of. So what does a statin do? I mean, what, what are the negatives about statins uh, that, that make you say, wait a minute, we don't want people on them if they don't have to be? Well, there's multiple things, but the, but what statins, the intended consequence of statins, the intended thing to do that statins do is to go to your liver, they go to your liver and they stop the cholesterol from being put into your bloodstream. Okay. So they break down your cholesterol. So you ingest cholesterol from the foods that you eat? Mm-hmm. And, uh, but and carbs can turn into cholesterol, too. Okay. And that's done through, well, it's not necessarily done through the liver, but the, the statin drug in the liver helps prevent the absorption process in the, in the cells. No, it pre- well, yes and no. It helps, it keeps you from making cholesterol in the liver. It blocks it. Okay. It blocks an enzyme. All right. So that... You don't make it out of your food, okay? So, so it's it's not a cholesterol, so it won't go into your blood. Then it goes to the cell, mm-hmm. and it blocks. It also blocks cholesterol from being taken into the cells. So, all of the cells. Uh, yeah. All of the cells, and the, and my other my my second objection is, <laughs> that's not good because your brain is all cholesterol. I on purpose ate a high cholesterol diet when I was pregnant because I wanted my daughter to have a big brain. I mean, that's what your brain's made out of is cholesterol. And every cell wall, every you want to have beautiful skin, you're not going to have beautiful skin on statins. That's that you aren't going to have enough cholesterol to have beautiful skin. You're not going to have enough cholesterol to make your cell walls. You're going to have your cells will break down. They'll be less resistant to invasion by bacteria and, and viruses. It's it is not a panacea, and it should not be given to everybody, for Go goodness sakes. But the other thing is, third thing is, when I test people for, for um, atherosclerosis by doing a cardiac calcium scan, which is now self-referred, people can walk in and get one. You don't have to have a prescription nope. for it? No, you can just walk in, 99 bucks. you know whether you have, they, they do a two-shot CT scan, meaning two pictures, and they can tell you whether you have atherosclerosis or not okay so I look at and the reason you don't want to have it is what happens so if you have atherosclerosis that's that thickens the inside of your arteries so it it makes the arteries very narrow and so blood so your heart has has to pump harder to get blood through your body right and and also the the oxygen that you're taking to your your heart is it's less blood, less oxygen. So you're you're hypoxic. You're you have a low oxygen level going to the cells because the blood can't get through. So not only is it harder work for your heart, but you're not feeding your heart oxygen as well. And then what a heart attack really is is one of those vessels blocks 
and then the heart itself muscle dies. It's not getting any oxygen. It's like you're strangling it. And then a piece of that heart doesn't pump. So it's kind of flop, flopping around while the rest of your heart's doing this. Right. And if you, do, if you have a heart attack and enough muscle's damaged, then you can't pump and you have heart failure. That's the, that's the process of what happens well, and why we don't want you to have a heart attack. We see people that walk around and their skin is as pale white as, as a piece of notebook paper. And they have problems breathing. They don't have muscle strength. And you say they've had a heart attack or they're a walking heart attack. Mm -hmm. They're about out. to have one. Because there are visible and you, signs. And you and my husband and Phyllis hold me back and say, <laughs> don't go, don't over, there go over there and tell them that they need, <laughs> they need to have their heart looked at. They may already know. They may know. And yeah, and yeah you can, when, it's, when it gets really bad, uh -huh. then you can see that in people. Yeah. And then they need to have the test. They probably need to be on statins. So what do you suggest, if, I mean, you, you said, you're saying, if I've had a heart attack, then I probably need statins mm -hmm. to help the rest of my heart function not have any cholesterol, assuming that that Have low cholesterol them. so that you won't have as much stuff to stick to the blood vessels. But what if I haven't had a heart attack? Then what, what are my concerns? There's a the good cholesterol and a bad cholesterol? Mm -hmm. What does that mean? HDL is a good cholesterol. HDL protects you. Uh, there's a little bit of controversy over that but they believe it should be as high as possible and women usually have a high HDL mm -hmm. one of the reasons that we have a lower risk of heart disease is that we have a high HDL but okay. high LDL is bad so that's the bad cholesterol okay and they're they're now they're doing like pieces of that to see which is the worst kind but but in general if your LDL is high your internist will say Oh, you, you need a statin because your LDL is high. Yeah. And they assume it's a one synapse jump from high LDL to, to heart disease, which it is not. Because I have patients come in on statins or not on statins with high cholesterol. I send them for the heart scan. Mm -hmm. They got nothing. They have no, they're 50 or 60 or 45. They've got no plaque. And it's not because they've been on statins. Usually they haven't been on them for very long. But they have no plaque. And they have a high cholesterol. I have that. The reason I know this so intimately yeah. is because I had, I have a cardiologist because I have an arrhythmia, not because I have heart disease. But I, I went to my cardiologist and he, I said, so is there anything else I need to do? And he said, oh, you've done everything. You do everything. You take the right supplements. You do all that. But I'd put you on a statin. I said, well, that's not going to happen unless I have heart disease. Unless right. I have a heart attack, I'm not going on a statin. Right. And I don't think I have, and I, my exercise and everything else was not like somebody who has compromised their vessels. So I said, if I go do a CT, or excuse me, a CT cardiac calcium scan, if I go do that and I have anything below a, a hundred on my, it's, a, it's graded on 900. So if I have anything below a hundred, we're going to agree you're never talking to me about statins again. So he said, so, okay. Yeah. And so I, so he didn't think this would come out this way, but I've got nothing. Yeah. And then he said, well, that's because you've been on estrogen and testosterone. Maybe. But he, he didn't admit it was because cholesterol doesn't mean heart disease or atherosclerosis. It just doesn't equate. So if you have not had a heart attack and you get a report that says you have a high LDL, do you recommend any drug? Do you recommend you just don't worry about it? Or how do you approach it? Because Historically, doctors have said, oh my God, you need to be on statins. Well, before before you do anything, I, su I suggest that you get one of the cardiac calcium scans. Okay. And if you get that and it's zero, you don't, don't have to worry. do anything. All right. But, I mean, exercise, diet, I mean, that's and diet, I'm, not so diet some, that's low in cholesterol. Just really it's a low-carb diet. A healthy diet. A healthy diet mm -hmm. and decrease your inflammation. So if you're obese, you need to... That uh, inflammation is really the bad guy mm -hmm. in heart disease. If you have a lot of inflammation, it sticks fat, no matter what, how high your cholesterol inflammation is. Inflammation is a bad guy in almost everything. To your blood. It is. It's yeah. really bad, and it's rampant in the U.S. because we're overweight. Yeah. So if you're overweight, your inflammation's up. If you have a, a joint that hurts but no one's fixed, yeah. then you're going to have inflammation. You're going to be at higher risk of heart disease. So, so that And sometimes I just give people an anti-inflammatory because... If I don't think they're going to be able to do anything about the other things, or they won't, that helps them decrease their risk. Right. And that has a lot fewer side effects. Adverse side effects. Than, than a statin. A statin. 
So in our continuing crusade to teach America not to be on statins if they can possibly avoid it, and teach doctors not to use them if they can possibly avoid it, we brought you this conversation. We hope what it does is stimulate your awareness and your interest and your conversations with your physician. Do I really need this? Is this going to cost me more than it benefits me? How do I understand it? Cholesterol, heart attacks, what's the relationship? And at least talk to your doctors about it. At least I find have one out more, more thing to say. Yeah, okay. Two more. One is the unintended consequence of a statin is not only does your brain not repair itself, so we have statin dementia now, but every cell in your body is sensitive to statins and needs cholesterol, and it affects your mitochondria. The mitochondria are those little, those little power uh, organelles inside your cell that actually make your energy. So what this, one, this study in JAMA in 2018 said was that by impairing your mitochondria, you age faster, your exercise tolerance is lower, you cannot actually uh, make muscle, so your muscles shrink, and by taking the statin, that's how that works, you're actually making yourself age faster okay. and impairing your ability to live a quality life. It's not an innocuous drug, and this now sh proves it. This, I mean, there's been other studies, but this was more sentinel study than, than we've had in the past. The other thing is I have patients who come to me who have had statins for years and all of a sudden their muscles go away. I mean, they're on testosterone. That doesn't fix it. Their muscles go away and no matter what we do with taking them off statins, they lose all their muscle. They're weak. They, can't, they can barely walk. And you never know when that's going to happen. It may not happen at the beginning. It may not happen until you've been on it a certain period of time, but their muscles just start dissolving. And what they say is there's no diagnosis. Well, the diagnosis is a statin. So those are the scary things. Those are the reasons that I, I really wanted to bring this up because most people won't say, oh, that was your statin. They'll keep you on the statin and, and they'll be treating you with something else for your muscles. And it's a terrible disease. I, I watched a huge muscly man just shrink in front of me. Right. And it's, it, there's nothing I can do. Growth hormone doesn't work. Nothing else does. We, of course, he was taken off the statin, but it's not coming back. It's re irreversible. So that's the unintended consequences of statin and the scary part. Okay. Well, be aware, have those conversations with your doctor, and as always, thank you for listening. Email your questions or comments to podcast at biobalancehealth.com. You can find the Biobalance HealthCast on iTunes and on YouTube. For more information about bioidentical hormone pellet therapy and other reverse aging solutions, visit biobalancehealth.com or call 314-993-0963. You can find Dr. Maupin on Twitter at Dr. Kathy Maupin and on Facebook at facebook.com slash biobalancehealth. Find Brett Newcomb at brettnewcomb.com.